sounds great. Okay, I get it. I don't have a job. I get it. Damn. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So uh, we have a pilot called Songs of Harmony, written by Karen Huey. All right. Hi, how you doing? It's so great to see so many people out here. And yes, mostly brown people. It's awesome. Um, so my play, Songs of Harmony, was about my family with three sisters, and CBS had come to see it and said, oh my god, you're so funny. We love your play. We want to give you a sitcom pilot deal. Okay. And um, they said, it's perfect, it's perfect. By the way, we know it's about a Chinese-American family. Can you change it to a Japanese family? And I'm like, well, you know these cultures are not interchangeable. I can't just change their names, right? And um, by the way, can you kill the mom? And I'm like, but the mom is like two thirds of the play. So anyway, this is the sitcom pilot. You're gonna see the first 15 minutes of it with the dad. Oh, my sister. Oh, I don't see your feelings, but Elaine's got a big audition tomorrow, 
I don't want you sabotaging it. Sabotage? Look, look, look at this. Westlake Duck, her favorite. I cooked it myself. Perfect. Just keep being supportive. I'm supportive of all my daughters. What have I not been supportive? You don't like my menu. No, I love your menu. Just not in my restaurant. <laughs> Act 1, Scene 2, Interior Kitchen, Living Room. Night a little later, Auntie Ling Ling in her 50s stirs a pot of curry pig stomach relishing the smell. She's a feisty Chinese woman fresh from Hong Kong, sister of Sammy's late wife. She speaks with a thick Chinese accent. The doorbell rings. Oh, come already? Uh, uh, come in Yi Ling. Uh, Yi Ling. Interior living room. Auntie Ling Ling enters from the kitchen. In the doorway hangs a Japanese Noren. Doorway curtain. In her excitement, Auntie gets taken. <laughs> On the wall over it, over it is an altar for the late Yu Mei Song with a photo, an incense burner, and a red lamp. Hi, Yu Mei. Your daughter Yi Lei come from LA today. I turn on the light so you can see her. The doorbell rings. Auntie opens the door. Sammy's youngest daughter, Suzanne Song Anderson, 23, enters. Four years of college in Memphis, has left an indelible impression and an accent on the bell. She carries a suitcase. Susan. You're not the Elaine. I know that, Auntie. <laughs> Let's keep this bad boy moving. You guys ready? Guess what? This, this one, that was the midpoint. That good? 